So in this video, we're going to be going over page four, and we are going to be continuing to simplify expressions here uh, using something called the distributive property. And this is a skill that you're going to need, kind of like combining like terms, where you want to be able to simplify an expression first, and then you're going to drop your line and solve. So we're not going to be solving quite yet. Right now on this page for this video, we're just simplifying our expressions. Now for the first one up here, what I have is a three times five. And I want to remind you guys that that's saying three sets of five. So when we see three times this, we're really saying five plus five plus five, which is the 15. So now I'm going to kind of just show you guys how to distribute. For this first example here, instead of it being a three just times five, we want three sets of x plus five. So here are my three sets of x plus five. There's one, there's two, there's three in green. And so now when you combine like terms, we have one, two, three x's right here. And then five plus five plus five is 15. So three sets of x plus five is really three x's and then three sets of five, which is a 15. Now the shortcut here is with the arrows that I'm going to show you guys in red. It says to multiply three times the first term. So three times x is three x and 3 times 5 here is the 15 and since it's a positive we write plus 15 and now we are done. Alright now let's take a look at the next example. The next example says we want four sets of a minus 8. So here's an a minus 8, an a minus 8, an a minus 8, and an a minus 8. And multiplication is really a shortcut for the addition signs that you see in between. So now when we combine like terms we have one, two, three, four a's, and then we have a negative eight plus a negative eight plus a negative eight plus a negative eight. So we have four sets of negative eight, which is the negative 32. So the shortcut in red with the arrows is four sets of your a, so four times a is four a, and then four times negative eight is negative 32. If the a wasn't here, y'all, it'd be a four times negative eight, which is negative 32, which is why it's a negative constant. And since we do have the a, it's four a minus 32, and now we have simplified this expression. Now for the third example here, when you see a minus one out in front, it's basically like saying take away a y and take away a seven. It's saying to take away one of everything that's in here. So if you take away a y and take away a, a 7, we get negative y minus 7. And here's the shortcut again in red with the arrows. Negative 1 times y is negative 1y. And I don't have to write the 1 right here. And negative 1 times 7 is negative 7. So there's the negative 7. So this, when we distribute the negative 1, it becomes a negative y minus 7. Now moving forward in the video, I'm just going to show you guys the shortcut with the arrows for how to distribute a number. So for the next one, we're distributing a negative 5. So we have negative 5 times h is my negative 5h. And when we distribute negative 5 to negative 3, a negative 5 times negative 3 is a positive 15. So there's the plus 15 in my answer. All right, here, now what switches up is I actually have a coefficient other than 1 inside the parentheses but it doesn't change anything. We have three sets of 4y plus 2. Now real quick, I will write this out. We have 4y plus 2 plus 4y plus 2 plus 4y plus 2. Those are my three sets of the 4y plus 2. So when I combine like terms, I've got 4 plus 4 plus 4. I have three sets of my 4y. So right here with the shortcut, three sets of 4y is 12y and now three sets of the 2, 3 times 2 would be 6 and there's the 2, 4, 6. Alright, for this next one you do a negative 4 times 2x and negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 so I got negative 8x here and then negative 4 times negative 3 and negative times negative is positive and that's why I have a positive 12 in my answer. Now these last two examples are special for a different reason and it's because they involve distributing and then combining like terms. Now I want you guys to think about if you saw PEMDAS problem that said to do 10 plus 2 times 6. What would you do first in this scenario? 10 plus 2 
or 2 times 6. You would multiply here and get this answer, and then you would add the 10 to it. So on the distributive notes, that's why right here, we're actually going to multiply and distribute out right here first. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 4 is 8, and that's the answer here in red. Now I've got my 10 plus out in front, and I'm going to highlight here so you can see like terms. Now we combine that the 10 plus 8 is the 18, and the 2x, there's nothing that can combine with it, so it's in my answer. And our final answer here becomes 2x plus 18. Now for the final example here, when we distribute first, we're going to multiply this negative 2 times 3. What if this stuff in front of it wasn't there? We would be distributing a negative 2 times the 3, and that's where I get my negative 6. And now a negative 2 times negative 2x becomes a positive 4x. Now we did have the negative 5x out in front, so notice I've now got that in my expression. And our final step now is going to be to combine like terms. I have negative 5x plus 4x, and that's where I get my negative 1x. And there's nothing to group with the negative 6, so that's the constant. And we never have to write a 1, so our final answer here is going to be a negative x minus 6. Now the rest of the page here is designed for you to practice on your own. So now would be a good time to pause the video and just try on your own. But if you feel like you're not ready and want to watch me model the first two for you, feel free. So for number one here, I want to remind you guys that we are supposed to distribute when we multiply before we add or subtract, which is combining like terms. So 3 times c is 3c, and 3 times 2 is 6, so I've now distributed. And now we're ready to combine like terms. I have this 15 plus these 6 is where I get 21, and the 3c nothing combines with it. And we want to write our answer with the constant always last. So we get 3c plus 21. For the next one, once again, we're distributing first. We have this negative 2 times x, which is the negative 2x. And negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Now we're ready to combine like terms. And we have a 20 with a negative 8. 20 minus 8 is 12. Since 20 minus 8 is a positive 12, notice I have a positive 12 in my answer. And nothing combines with the negative 2x. So our final answer here is negative 2x plus 12. Now again, the goal is to be able to do the rest on your own. So if you watch this demonstration for 1 and 2, now is another good time to pause the video and try on your own. But at this point, if you uh, hit play, I'm basically just going to go through here all of these answers. For number, uh, oh sorry, there's a typo right here. Um, it looks like it goes 1, 2, 3, and then this one should be a 4 five, six, but that's not too big of a deal. That doesn't change much. Uh, for number two right here, five times two x is 10 x. And here, five times negative 11 is negative 55, and we're done. There's nothing to now combine. For number three, we're going to distribute first. I get a negative 30, and negative five times x is negative five x. And now when I combine like terms, there's the negative seven x, and my constant's a minus 30. All right, we already did this one, so now I'm on number five right here. This negative three times two is this negative six. Negative three times negative four. Negative times negative is a positive 12x. Now we're ready to combine like terms. We have x's that can combine together. So negative six plus 12, negative six plus 12 is where I get this six x. And my negative six here stays as the constant. And now the final problem here, we actually have to distribute twice. So first, I'm distributing a 3, and I get right here 15. 3 times negative 9x, or sorry, 3 times negative 3x is negative 9x. Now in green, I'm distributing a negative 4 to the 6, and a negative 4 to the 2x. So that gives me this negative 24, and this negative 8x. Now I'm ready to combine like terms, so I'm going to go after the x's first. I got negative 9 of them, minus 8. So that's the same sign, add and keep, we have negative 17 x's. Now I have this 15 minus 24, 
And since 15 minus 24 is negative 9, my constant is a negative 9. And our final answer here is negative 17x minus 9. So when you are distributing, you are simplifying an expression. Your answer should still be an algebraic expression. You have not yet solved for the variable, but that's where we're going with it next. That concludes the video for page 4. Thank you.